Hi friends, how are you today? It's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com and I'm here with my little uh, Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. She's wearing her pink, her pink rose colored glasses today. She's looking at the world through rose colored glasses. Can you turn your face a little bit? There she is. Um, I am so happy to be here with you today. Um, it's been so windy here in Southern California. Oh my goodness. We have had 40 to 50 uh, mile an hour winds here uh, right around our house. It blew a thing we have in the back, like a lattice, um, kind of a small little cover to things. It blew it clear across the backyard. Um, I mean, it has been crazy winds. And um, it really has been scaring Ellie. She goes out and it's blowing so hard she just runs around because she doesn't know what else to do. But, and then as soon as she's done, she comes right back in because it's been scaring her. But this afternoon, hey, Anthony. <laughs> hey, Linda. Yeah, it's just been crazy windy. But just the past couple hours, it's calmed down. I mean, we had trees down and everything. Um, and, and it's been fairly warm, and now they're saying we're going to have rain this weekend, which we totally need. But her hair has gotten all messed up. She comes back in with leaves. She's got leaves all over the house. So that's what's been going on here as far as weather. How are you guys? Hey, Patricia. Good to see you. And Katie from North Carolina. Yeah. So we're having our typical... You know, just different weather, but never, not really snow or anything bad like some of you get. So what is going on in your life today? How are you? Other than the winds, I have been getting my class to go, my January class to go. It's ready to go out later today or tomorrow as soon as I can get to the post office. And um, that is always so much fun. This month was a Valentine class to go. And I'm so excited for the people to get it. So always be watching. I try to announce it for you and show it on Facebook so you guys can see it too. Because my people love my classes to go. They're lots of fun and I love making them. I really do. So I wanted to thank you also for sharing my Facebook Live. I hope you've been enjoying um, the PDF tutorials I've sent to those of you who've shared. I hope you're enjoying that. Um, next, this Coming time again, I'm gonna send you another PDF tutorial if you share uh, my Facebook Live and the PDF tutorial will be of today's card. So I would love to have you share with your friends. It really helps me out so that they can uh, come too and see what's going on. And especially in this, you know, COVID time, these difficult days, I think stamping gets, gives us all something to do and I, like to help people get through these difficult times. And I think stamping does that and being on Facebook Live kind of does that. When you pop on, we're all kind of a group together, aren't we? Well, I think I'm going to take Miss Ellie's glasses off and put her down and let her go take her nap. Thank you, Linda, for sharing. Hey, Paula, good to see you. One thing I want to chat with you a little bit about today is um, joining Stampin' Up! And I know some of you on here are demonstrators and some of you are not. And if you aren't, this is a perfect time to join. And I want to let you know, I just want to really talk to you heart to heart and let you know that there is absolutely no obligation. Um, you can join now and uh, be a part of everything we do until July and not, not have any responsibilities. And the reason I think it's so fabulous is because you, once you join and pick your starter kit, which is $125 worth of product that you get for $99, then you can purchase everything for 20% off. All of these products that you like so much and I love, we all love them. And right now during Jan, the reason I'm kind of extra reminding you is because right now during January and February in celebration, uh, Stampin' Up! is having a big special. And if you, <clears throat> if you join what I like to call get the ultimate bundle, you know, really, it's just the ultimate bundle. It's a discounted price. It ships for free. And right now you get these brand new papers 
uh, six by six in all the different color families and they're different patterns than we've had. They're the patterns that aren't coming out until uh, June of this year. And um, I've got, you, you get five packs of them, five packs. That's over 200 six by six sheets and they're double-sided in all the color families, brights, neutrals, isn't that pretty? That's brights, I, yeah, that's brights. These are uh, pastels, look at those pretty pastels. And then one I haven't even opened is uh, the new in colors, the current in colors, you know, the uh, magenta madness and stuff like that. And only dem demonstrators were able to get them early before celebration started just so we could see what you could get and show you. But I would love to have you join my team. And I, we have a lot of fun. There's no obligation. We just, and we chat, and I have a special Facebook page for my team. And so if you um, want to get the Ultimate Bundle, there's a link right up above that you can join, or you can uh, message me or email me at Peggy at Pretty Paper Cards if you have questions. But it's a really great time to join and save money. It's the best way to save on your favorite products. Okay, so for today, what I want to tell you and show you is I titled this uh, Facebook Live Chicks, Chicks, Chicks because starting February 2nd, we're going to have um, a special promotion on chicks, little chickens, which I think is perfect in the spring, right? And they're bringing back Hey Chick, the Hey Chick stamp set, the light's kind of on there. We had this several years ago and it was so well loved that they're bringing it back starting February 2nd. And I'm gonna actually switch you down so that you can, um, you can see what, I, what I'd like to show you, which is all the fun things. And then we're gonna make a Hey Chick card, okay? So here is a birthday chick is brand new in the new mini catalog. And it is um, a takeoff from Hey Chick. And so you can get this now. It doesn't come with any dies in the catalog, but the special that they're coming out with is this comes with dies and they're coming, they're bringing back Hey Chick and Hey Chick is gonna have dies. Do you believe it? So I've got them all here and I've got some cards to show you. So here's Hey Chick. If you saved yours from a few years ago, Hang on to it because starting February 2nd, you can get the Hey Chick die, the Chick dies. <laughs> chick dies. And look at this. It has a little corn stalk and corn that goes on it. Um, I'll show you this in a minute. This chain link fence. It's got a little chicken coop. I mean, it's so cute. A little sign. And then Hey Birthday Chick, which is available right now. But Hey Birthday Chick has dies. And that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work with the Hey Birthday Chicks. So you can get any of them individually or joint or, or a bun, each of them as a bundle, which is what I purchased both the bundles because they're so cute and I wanted to show you guys how darling they are. So let's see here. Um, yes, you love the dies. Hey Sue. Alrighty, so this is a card I made using Hey Chick. And I had this, um, I posted this on my blog yesterday, so most of you saw this one. And for this one, I used, this is some of the very, very delightful uh, paper from Celebration. And this is the border here. And then I've embossed this with one of our new embossing folders called Painted Texture, 3D embossing folder. But these are the chicks that you get with the Hey Chick bundle that is returning. And these are what the dies do. And look at this one little egg with legs. I just can't even stand it. And here's the chain link fence. And you get all those dies. Let's bring them back. Here they are, the chick dies. Okay, so all of that comes with Hey Chick. But today what I wanna use is Hey Birthday Chick. And I'll start out by showing you this card. This is Hey Birthday Chick and the dies that come with it. I mean, I can't even stand it. These little, these little chicks, their little wings pop up. Look at that, I can't even believe it. Um, and so I cut three of those little chicks out. 
those those just come in dies and here's a little fence like a it could be a white picket fence but I made it brown I don't know if I should have placed the feed sack over there but you can see it and I have the little chicks going to the feed sack and then here's the I don't know if she's the mama chick but she kind of looks like a mama chick and then the dies come with these fun fun uh, like twisted crepe paper or something and and here's the thing I really love that is a die I'm crazy about it I know I'm gonna use that a lot isn't that cute and I made this in a square and here's one of the sentiments I could have gotten it straighter I guess but it's a little whimsical right let's celebrate you and that's what I put on the back of the envelope and so I thought today we would make this other one hey Karen good to see you <clears throat> this is the one we're gonna make today um, and be just because I really like this chick she's kind of wild but not too wild I'm calling her she because I gave her pink hair but she's got a little um, cupcake and she's trying to blow out her candle and the paper that I used here is Artistry Blooms designer series paper. I just thought it looked kind of, I don't know. It just looked like it went. Isn't that just cute? And on the inside, I have this one little chick that's part of the Hey Birthday Chick set. Kind of a little, a tiny egg that's celebrating a birthday. So let's get started and we'll make this together. Okay, let's start out, I think, by stamping. And we're gonna stamp our chick that's eating the um, cupcake on this piece. And let's see, what else are we gonna stamp? This, we're gonna stamp that little, um, the little tiny egg on this piece, which is the inside, and on our envelope. Now I wanted to give you a little hint about square envelopes. I didn't make this. I got a package from Amazon, of course, and it's just nice little pre-made envelopes. And I'm making my cards out of four by four cardstock. The base is going to be Mango Melody. And it's actually, it's eight by four and scored at four. I mean, easy to remember, right? And it fits perfectly inside this envelope. You can get all kinds of things on Amazon. I mean, we all do, right? Okay, so let's pull out our... Um, Memento ink, Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and we're going to stamp our little chick with the cupcake and the wild hair. I kind of really like the wild hair. What about you guys? Okay, so we're going to put this chick here, and then on our ins, this is our inside piece. Because we're using a Mango Melody card base, we want to put a piece of uh, basic white in here so that you can write your greeting, your own personal greeting, or you could stamp one of the sentiments from the set. So we're gonna put this little birthday egg in here, and this little birthday egg is just jumping. Look at, it's, he's just jumping all around. And then we've got our envelope, and I thought it would be cute to stamp the little birthday egg on the envelope too, like that. Okay, I think that's actually all of our, our stamping. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to color in this little guy with our Stampin' Blends, and I'm going to get a mini piece of graph paper, grid paper, which is really from um, the Stamparatus. It's Stamparatus grid paper, but it works out well for me because I only need a small bit here. So let's color our chick. Let me look at my, I'll look back here and see how my sample is colored. Oh, right. Okay, <clears throat> so I colored my sample in, um, I think I would just use this light pumpkin pie. So we're just gonna color in her body. I might have used the daffodil, but we're gonna go with this and put our blends. I always use the, <clears throat> more like the paintbrush end. And I just think she's so cute. Mostly I think I like the wild hair. What do you guys think? Anthony, too cute. <laughs> the little egg with the party hat, I know it. <clears throat> really, I'm so glad they're coming back with the hay chick and that they have dyes for these because they really are super cute. 
then I'm going to color the face the same. And I actually think I did use the Daffodil Delight, so we're going to go back in with the Daffodil and go over that and see if we can make her, her a little bit more yellow. But you know, it doesn't matter. You get to choose the colors. I mean, you could have a blue chick. You can have whatever color chick you want. That's what I love about stamping is it's really your stamp. It's your expression. Stampin' Up! gives us lots of great ideas. But in the end, it's whatever you want to do. Okay, now I'm going to come back in with the um, dark pumpkin pie. And we're going to um, color her little beak. Just a tiny dot. And then these actually what look like fairly large feet, don't you think? I think she's got some big feet. I don't know. I think she might watch out. She's got some big feet. I did get a little out of the lines there. Let me get my um, my white. What do we call this? Let me look back. Oh, the color lifter. Yes. And I'll just, basically what I do is just push that color back in. Just kind of push it back in. And it really does work. You let it dry and it really works. I just got carried away and she's got skinny legs but big feet. Big foot chicken. I know I love the hair too. So it looks a little bit wet kind of in the beginning when you do that pushing back but it will dry. Now we'll go on for the hair. We got to do the hair right. And I always want to look at my sample. Oh, there she is. That's right. So I use the light Rococo Rose for the hair. So let's give her some wild pink hair. She could have blue hair. She could have silver hair. Um, you know, it's completely up to you what color hair you wanted to have. But I thought it just looked kind of good. And it goes a little bit with the Mango Melody, too, and with the color of the... Um, designer series paper that we used. There we go. Okay, now I colored the bottom of the pump of the uh, cupcake in the dark Rococo Rose. It's as I usually advise you, it's good not to get too many colors going. So using different shades of one color is not a bad idea. And I left the frosting white and we're going to make the candle um, again with the light daffodil delight. You could color the cupcake, but the frosting, but you know what? I, I love vanilla frosting, don't you? So there she is. Isn't she cute? Now we're going to use the dye and I'm going to bring in my baby boss. That's what we named named this cutie last week on, on Friday on my Facebook Live. We, I was going to do Bitty Boss, but I, I like Baby Boss. I can remember it a little better. So we're going to bring in Baby Boss, my wonderful stamp and cut and emboss machine, Baby Boss. And we're going to just cut this. Look at how those dies fit just perfectly right around there. And let's see, let's go back just a hair. There we go. And we'll run her, the wild girl. Cindy Lauper chick, I like it, Anthony, I like it. Yes, she does look like Cindy Lauper, doesn't she? So there she is. Our cute little Cindy Lauper chick. I think I, I wasn't as perfect as I should have been right there, but you can see most of it. Now, what else are we going to die cut? Oh, yes. We're going to die cut our word, our sentiment, our happy birthday. Look at that. Don't you just love it? I mean, I really love die cut words. And this is just a cute, whimsical uh, happy birthday. And I think we're going to be able to use it on quite a few different uh, different cards, you know, for different occasions. So it's not... it. This die set, I think, is really, I'm really glad I got it because I'm going to be using this happy birthday quite often. So we'll run this through the baby boss. 
and I'll show you how nice this is. It pops out so easily. Look at that. Put it the right way. Isn't that great? Can't you just see yourself putting that on quite a few different cards? Okay, so we've got that ready to go. And the next, the last thing we're going to die cut here is um, a, a die from the Hippo and Friends that I really like, this label die, and it, it fits in the little baby boss. And I think it looks nice behind the Cindy Lauper chick. So let's cut this label. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to also emboss this label. Because I just thought it brought more attention to the chick. So I think we're done. Oh no, we need to emboss, that's right. Okay, so here's our label and it's got the stitching around it. Hippo and, yeah, Hippo and Friends dies. You wouldn't expect that to have labels, would you? Okay, now I'm, I pulled out this is um, an embossing folder that fits into our baby boss and it's um, the greenery it's from the greenery set let me see I wrote it down it's two you get two of them and they're called greenery embossing folders so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and oops I might not have the right plates I don't know let me see I didn't bring any other plates, so, Eek. oh boy, I don't think that's going to work. I think there was an embossing plate, but I left that back over in my cupboard, so I think this is going to be too much. Let's try it. You know what? That is my fault. We're going to have to go without embossing this time. We'll, I'll try to remember to emboss again next time. That'll teach me. Actually, I've never embossed on the on the little baby boss, so that is that teaches me a lesson. Okay, but we can still make our card, and it'll still look fine. You know me; just deal with it the way it, the way it is. We can do that. Okay, so we're gonna go back, and now we've done we've done all the cutting, and we can create our card. So we're gonna start with our base, and then I'm going to glue on a piece of the um, Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, and this has been cut at three and three quarters inch square. Just like this. Let's see, I think I wanted the pink at the top. And I think this goes, I mean, it's made to coordinate with the Mango Melody. Doesn't it look great? I really like it. I like the Mango Melody better than I expected, actually. Okay, now here's our here's our uh, die cut background piece label, and I'm going to put this on with uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. And the thing this will do is just highlight our little chick, our Cindy Lauper chick. It just brings her forward because it's a plain color. Because if I I practice putting her on here. And I'll show you, everything is just too busy. You don't see her as well as if you put a piece of uh, a plain label die cut. So let's just put this on. I think I put this one right in the middle like that. And then we can put our chick on like this. And she can also take, um, she's big enough to use our regular Stampin' Dimensionals. I love Stampin' Dimensionals because I love the way they adhere. Whoops, I did the same wrong thing again. Her tail hangs over. And I did that the first time too. I don't wanna have a dimensional on her tail because it's hanging over. Did you know you can just pull them off like that? There we go. And I'm just gonna put this right back in here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I want. I like it when the little pieces of things hang over, I think it looks a little better. So let's get her just right on there like that, a little downward because we want to be able to fit our happy birthday words, which are going to be like right there. And what I'm going to do with my words is I'm going to adhere those with glue 
<laughs> and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue just on this half, just the birthday, the burr, <laughs> and the happy. Um, because I, I want this to hang off also. So I'm just gonna put, a, you know how we do just a few little glue dots, and if you let it sit for just a moment, maybe blow on it just a little bit, then it'll stick on nicely. And so I'm gonna put this right up there at the top above her head. And so that is actually because this label is raised, the happy birthday is raised also. Do you see that? And isn't that just cute? Now we could put some little somethings around there for fun. I didn't plan on it, but well, you know what? One thing, have you seen these new resin hearts? We could put a couple of these around in the white. They are really super cute. They come in red and, real red and white, and you can also color them. I tried using a basic black um, stamp and blend, and it worked on that one, so you can color them. So I'm gonna choose just a few little white resin hearts and we'll just put those around just for fun, like right up here. That's kind of cute, huh? Okay, let's add another one. Who's used these resin hearts? Let me know, they're so, they glue on, they stick on really, really well. And we'll need a third one because you always wanna kinda have three things. So let's see, maybe we'll just put this one outside like that. So what do you think? Isn't it cute? Well, I've got an extra one there. So there is our fun happy birthday chick card. It really is fun. Yes, Megan, that happy birthday is totally worth getting the whole entire die set. Um, let me pull it out again. So in the birthday chick dies, you have the happy birthday and this is the Cindy Lauper check. And then, that's all I cut out there. Yeah, 11 dies, let's see. Oh, did you see this? Look at that. That is a little bow tie to go on, I guess, any of these chicks. It's a little tiny, tiny, can you see it in there? A tiny, tiny bow tie. And here's the little chick that I used on the other card, the little tiny, tiny one. And here are the birthday streamers. And there's the fence and the feed bag. And this is an embossing. It actually kind of cuts little chicken scratches in your, in your paper. There isn't a new catalog in February, Allison. Um, she's asking, will the new dies be in the new catalog? They are a special, um, promotional thing, the birthday chick is already in the catalog. These are out of catalog, but they are, they begin on February 2nd and go all the way until June 30th, the birthday chick dies. And you can also buy them as a bundle beginning on February 2nd. And then the same with the um, Hey Chick, which if you had it from before, and Allison, I did have one from before but I don't know where it is. And sometimes Allison buys my retired things, so I'm thinking Allison might have it. And then these are the chicken dies. So would you like me to tell you the prices? Um, the Hey Chick stamp set, if you don't have it, is 17. The dies are 32, and the bundle is gonna be 44 for Hey Chick, starting on February 2nd. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can get them now. The Birthday Chick stamp set, which you can get now, it's in the catalog, is 21. The dies are 27, and the bundle for this will be 43 beginning February 2nd. Yes, I thought, Allison, she does. I looked around for my hey chick, and I thought, <clears throat> Allison likes to buy my retired product, which is a help to me and a help to her. But when I couldn't find that hey chick, I thought, oh, I bet, I bet Allison bought it. So... <coughs> Thank you all for stopping by today. I hope you love 
the new Hey Chick stuff. Let me get out the other cards to show you. Just even without the envelopes, I'll show you because they're so darling. There's the other one. And I just think, you know, I don't always like these little whimsical things, but these I really kind of got into. I really do like them. And I hope you do too. I hope this gives you some great ideas. So if you share this Facebook Live, I will send you a PDF tutorial of the card we did today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great week. Bye-bye.